Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to turn your Node 5 into an S7 Edge. Let's go do this, baby. Alright, this is the Ultron ROM that I'm running on my T-Mobile Galaxy Note 5. Uh, this is actually an SM and 920C ROM, as you can see. This will change your model number to SM and 920C. It doesn't actually change it, it just says that there, so don't worry about it. Um, this is also running the latest Android 6.0.1. Now there's a leaked version of Marshmallow which comes with the bootloader. That was my last post at the Galaxy Note 5 root.com site. If you follow those instructions, that will install Marshmallow Bootloader on your T-Mobile Note 5. And even though Marshmallow isn't out for T-Mobile Note 5, once you install that bootloader, you will actually be able to install any international uh, such as N920C or N920F ROMs on your Note 5. So actually, I've been trying a bunch of different international ROMs. Um, I've also tested uh, the 4GLT, cellular data, everything works out of the box, which is amazing. This ROM is actually for the N920C international version. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look here. Um, if you want S7 Edge features, you get this um, dual layout just like S7 Edge. Uh, and also, if you go into settings here, you will get all of the Edge panels you will normally find on an S7 Edge. All right, um, you have the full control to change the size to the right or left. Also, you can go ahead and change the size to large, small, transparency, all that good stuff. So that is pretty much, you know, the main feature of S7 Edge. And also you will get game launcher once you install a game, let's say NBA Jam. We'll go ahead and test it out real quick. Um, you'll see the game launcher here and you can start recording. We'll do a quick test here. Now you can have S7 Edge's game launcher feature and record your games while you play uh, on your phone. And that's done. Uh, and we'll go ahead and take a look at here. And you will see that you have a... Test here. Now you can have S7 All right, Edge. you will get the S7, S7 Edge feature right there on your phone. So that is awesome. All right, that is really nice. You still get all of the Note 5 features, S Note, all that good stuff. All right, performance is actually really good on this one. Um, just as good as regular Marshmallow ROM. This is a ton better than Marshmallow ROM I featured a couple of weeks back. Um, since this is based on official Marshmallow ROM for uh, Galaxy Note 5. All right, you will also get floating messages. I'm not sure if that's new feature or not. All right, there is also some customization you can do if you will find the uh, Ultron settings in your app drawer there. And you'll find um, some stuff like system UI mods. You can go ahead and change the battery uh, here using three minute battery settings. All right, you can go ahead and change it to different things. You can go ahead and also hide the clock if you want uh, to make more space. You can also change the clock to the center, date style, all right, clock size. You can go also go ahead and change it. That's kind of cool. All right, recent RAM bar, um, custom text, CPU speed, traffic meter, a ton of stuff you can do with system UI. Launcher mods, all right, this is when you swipe all the way to the left once more, um, it's gonna open an app. So what you can do, let's say you wanna change this to something else. I'm gonna go ahead and choose calculator instead. Now when you're home, you go left, um, it's gonna give you your calculator. So that is really nice that this ROM offers you a bunch of customizations on top of S7 Edge uh, features, which means it's actually better software wise than the S7 Edge. All right, framework, um, you can also have um, USB weight screen, show drop down keyboard, animations you can go ahead and change, experimental features, visualizer. You can also customize the buttons, the uh, buttons you want to do. All right, you can go ahead and change the long press menu key, for example, um, to do a screenshot. So now if I do a long press with the menu button, it will do a screenshot. That's kind of cool. And you can go ahead and customize for back key, home key. Uh, all that good stuff. So very nice level of customization. And for sound, Dolby Atmos will boost your volume for speaker. All right, music controls, phone mods. You can also auto record incoming and outgoing calls. All right, overall, it's pretty good. Performance is excellent. Uh, the only thing I found a little bit not satisfactory 
uh, is the battery life. For some reason, all the Marshmallow ROMs I've tried on the T-Mobile Note 5, uh, the battery life seems to not last as long, but it should last just fine if you have like an actual international model. I believe that has something to do with the experimental bootloader that I'm using to run this ROM, but otherwise it's an excellent ROM. I mean, battery life is okay. It's, it's not terrible, but it's not as good as Lollipop, I think. Alright, but overall, you'll be able to get uh, S7 Edge features, all these customizations. Installation is pretty easy, it's straightforward. If you're using international Note 5, such as N920C, N920F, um, you can go ahead and use the standard installation with Twerp or Clockmail Recovery. Now, if you're using T-Mobile Note 5, you will have to follow the guide on how to install the Android 6.0 Marshmallow uh, leaked firmware. Go ahead and follow that all the way. Once you're done, go ahead and install this ROM over it and you should be fine and you can also use that method once you have a marshmallow bootloader you can go ahead and install any international uh, rom on your note 5 t-mobile note 5 all right that's pretty much it if you're still on lollipop and you want to try out all these new cool stuff i mean you can you have the option and that's the beauty of rube so that's pretty much it for today have a great day folks don't forget to hit the like subscribe and as always stay oh. Here to subscribe!